This highly pathogenic virus, why is it called H5N1? Well, I've got here a model of influenza well, virus. Well, that was handy. Yeah, it just <laughs> happened to be here. Uh, and it has eight gene segments. Right. And all of these gene segments encode one or two uh, proteins, or sometimes more. Two important proteins encoded by these gene segments are surface proteins. Yes. So the hemagglutinin is important to attach to the host cell, which is really the first step of infection. The neuraminidase is important for the release of the newly produced virus particles from the host cell. There are 19 known hemagglutinin H and 11 known neuraminidase N subtypes. Any combination of H and N subtypes is possible, which is how we get names like H1N1, H3N2, our seasonal flu, or H5N1. 